Hey everyone, this video will teach you how to set up and use the Pearson eBook app, which you can use at school to read your textbooks. So first thing you need to do is go to the App Store and download the app called Pearson eBook, which has a red icon with an E in it. When you first open the app, um, you be brought to the library screen. You won't have the same um, textbooks that I have here, so you'll need to press the button on the top right, which says check for new ebooks, and log in using the username and password which your teacher will provide to you. Once you log on, you'll see this. Tick the box of the textbook that's relevant to you and press download. Now we'll have a look at how to use the textbooks. Um, open your textbook. There are a few ways to navigate around the textbook. One way, of course, is just by um, scrolling along the pages like this. You also have the option, um, just by touching the screen, of pressing thumbnails in the bottom right corner. That will show you a small little thumbnail of each page, and it's kind of a bit more helpful when kind of looking for the page which you want to go to. You also have the option, of course, of just typing in the page number, uh, which you like, just in the middle there. So I can just jump to page 56, for example. You can also go to the contents page at the top left by clicking that. And you can jump to any chapter that you want to and any unit that you want to as well. This app also offers a whole bunch of other stuff that's pretty useful. Um, you can bookmark any page that you are reading just by pressing that little uh, bookmark ribbon on the top right corner and um, naming the bookmark. You can make multiple bookmarks on different pages. You may have noticed that there are extra icons on some of the pages, like that one just there. That gives you the option of looking at different worksheets which you can download, or sometimes even um, videos which you can watch, for example that one there. Just take note that you'll need to use the same username and passwords for some of those videos if you want to watch them online. You also have the option to add notes onto the textbook. Just press add note on the top uh, and press anywhere on the textbook to add that note. You can move this note around or add multiple notes to a page. In fact, you can even write stuff on the page if you like to as well by clicking the pen tool. I could highlight this section for example. Yep, that's very neat. You also have the option of highlighting words on the page just by pressing and holding on the words. And you can highlight them in whatever color you like just like that. So you can see there's a whole bunch of different options that you have to kind of annotate and write the stuff on the textbook. This app also provides a pretty handy way of um, cataloging all the extra stuff that you've added onto the textbook. So if you go to resources up here for example, um, you'll see all the bookmarks that you've added to your textbook. You'll also see all the notes that you have written and you'll also see a whole bunch of the extra resources uh, which are normally found as icons on the textbook. So all the extra worksheets, for example, a list of all the videos, and so forth. Having the textbook on your iPad should be a lot more convenient now and in the form of this useful app, we hope it will really enhance your learning experience at school.